at the age of 16, I was a gang member, a dope dealer, a high school dropout. I was labeled a lost cause, a throwaway. At the age of 18, I was sentenced to life in prison with little or no hope of ever being released. A month after my arrest, my daughter was born. And through the years, we bonded doing monthly visiting in various visiting rooms throughout the state of California. Seven years into my sentence, my mother came to visit me with my daughter. On this particular day, I was headed to isolation. I was chained and shackled behind thick, scarred prison glass. My daughter had never seen me in shackles before. And a look of confusion turned to fear. And instantly, I knew that the fear was not for her, but for me. I looked into her brown eyes, and she innocently asked, Daddy, why are you back there? Why can't I hug you? I explained to her that I had gotten into some trouble. And in that instance, without judgment, my daughter looked at me innocently and said, can you not get in trouble anymore so I can hug you when I come back? My mother, who was sitting directly next to my daughter, took the phone from her and looked at me and asked a question that she would ask many more times in the future. What are you going to do now? Good morning, everyone. My name is Sam Lewis, and I'm the CEO of the Anti-Recidivism Coalition. And today, I'd like to talk to you about hope and redemption. Our state of California currently has 126,000 people in prison, 126,000, a place that is always known for hopelessness. Many people go into prison as young adults and teenagers. Literally, there are kids as young as 15 that have been sent to, sentenced to more than 50 years in prison with little hope of redemption. ARC is a support network made up of formerly incarcerated men and women. And our mission, or part of our mission, is to empower people that are currently incarcerated and formerly incarcerated to thrive. I was 18 when I was sent away to prison. I could barely read and write, high school dropout, Many years later, after I was released, I was released with a bachelor's degree and a desire to help others. I joined ARC as first as a member. Then I became a life coach, then a director of inside programs, and now I am the CEO of this great organization. If you think that I'm unique or magical, you're mistaken. I'm no unicorn. I'm no different than the thousands of people that are currently sitting in prisons and jails. The only difference is I had someone who believed in me, encouraged me, and pushed me. I had resources. I had a mother. ARC is a peer-led organization. 70% of our staff is formerly incarcerated. Everything we create is created for us, by us, so that we can demonstrate success to others. When you come to ARC you, you, and apply to be a member, you will, you will immediately be assigned a life coach. Your life coach will give you a bunch of different tasks to keep you moving forward. Some of these tasks will include being involved in groups and volunteering. This will allow you to be able to see all of the different educational opportunities and employment opportunities that ARC offers. Then you'll be asked that question, what are you going to do now? <laughs> do you want to be a firefighter? Or would you like to be a policy advocate? Would you like to enroll in college, a university? We'll walk you through those steps. Would you like to join the building trades? Whatever it is that you choose to do, we'll help you get there. After you've completed your membership application process, we'll continue to invite you to, to be part of other things that build community within our organizations, things that most people who've been in circumstances like I have have never experienced. Can you imagine never going whitewater rafting? How about hiking in the Castaic Mountains? What about camping at Catalina? All of these things our members are invited to do so that we can continue to expand their horizons, test their abilities, and all the while they're being encouraged by their peers, other members. 
My mom always told me that I could do whatever I put my mind to. And at the end of each success will come that question, what are you going to do now? Mom, I finished high school. What are you going to do now? <laughs> Mom, I finished my associate's degree. What are you going to do now? <laughs> this is the same question that we ask our members. We push them and we set high expectations so that they can achieve those higher expectations and then higher expectations, all the while supporting them along the way. Our membership together, we move and we help each other heal. Through the struggles, we work together. If one member falls, thousands of members lift them up. Together, we've passed 17 pieces of legislation in the state of California that have made our criminal justice system more equitable. <laughs> yeah. Including eliminating life without the possibility of parole for juveniles. Over 200 of our members have been placed in the Los Angeles building trades as a direct result of our second chance pre-apprenticeship program. And we have the first ever firefighters program for people that have been incarcerated. Right now today, as the fires blaze in California, men and women that have been incarcerated on those lines as firefighters helping to save homes. About six years ago, I met a gentleman by the name of Harvey. Harvey had just come home after doing 29 years. All Harvey wanted to do, he said, I want a home. He said, I just want a life, and I want any job they'll give me. Pretty low bar for a job. Harvey comes into the office one day, looking both confused and upset. He's like, I got three job offers. What should I do? <laughs> and I smile at Harvey, and I tell Harvey, how does it feel to have options? And then I tell Harvey, what you gonna do now? <laughs> My name is Sam Lewis and this is what we do at ARC, thank you.